Ali Abdelaziz. Why is this guy so hated by MMA fans, MMA fighters, by so many guys and also loved by many guys? All in this video, guys. Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA. So I'm not trying to go into all the details of his criminal past and everything. This would go too long. I will link a video in the description where somebody goes into detail uh, about that. But Ali Delaziz has quite a criminal past. He was a member of a Muslim organization that is linked to some terrorist activities, organizations, whatsoever, called the MOA. He was an FBI informant. After he went to jail, uh, he, he got to be an FBI informant after he got out of jail. Uh, worked undercover there at the MOA as an informant for or, or the NYPD or something. He was uh, charged with passport fraud, uh, he failed, faked documents, he even faked his mother's death to have an alibi to not go into jail, which is something I cannot respect at all if you fake your mother's death. Um, just to get out of the bad situation, but uh, it is what it is. So he has quite a criminal past. There's a lot of things that he did that you do not do. Connor called him a terrorist rat, and he also said House Noah. So if you ask yourself the House Noah thing, it's a child that he kind of abandoned. He refused to do a father, father test. He then got forced to do a test if he's the father. He is the father. Daddy! He's kind of um, in the backtrack with child support, he's not really paying it. He, he kind of abandoned his child whatsoever. He had several failed marriages, this and that. Um, but that's all his business, but that's the reason why Connor called him that and the terrorist snitch. Watch the video that I linked below because of the passport. Uh, fails his cousin is, is, I think that's not mentioned in the video below. His cousin is allegedly, um, was actually a part of 9-11 in terms of financing it and all these things but yeah that's the reason why and other reasons why people especially the fighters don't really like him i mean he has one of the most dominant and best mma management companies which is called dominance mma and he has a lot of high level fighters there that he's managed and i feel like he's a pretty loyal guy to them these guys have kind of a good friend as a manager there. He seems like the guy who takes care of the family whatsoever, this and that. But he does some things that are kind of shady. First of all, what the FBI also said and what everybody knows that's deep into the MMA world, don't believe anything Ali says until you have any proof to that. Fake news. Because Ali talks a lot of shit. First of all, all his fighters, every single fighter that's managed by Ali Abdelaziz can't find, a, can't find a fight because no one wants to fight them. Every single fighter of Ali Abdelaziz, he claims that oh, no one wants to fight this guy, you're all afraid of him. Like, yeah, of course. Um, so always double check everything he says, please, because he is a guy that, that's also what the FBI said in an official statement, um, that he is a, a habitual liar. You're a fake lying rat. He also failed a lot of polygraph tests for FBI and stuff. Um, but he definitely is a good manager. Now, but what he also does is he goes into his fighters' Twitter profiles and Instagram profiles and makes posts under their name, but he clearly posted that. Like he sometimes, he has fighters sometimes that are pretty chill fighters that don't really talk trash or anything, and he just logs into their Twitter profiles and they can, they can barely talk English and makes a perfect English post, like in perfect English la English language. English change your language? Trash talking someone or whatever. So if you ever see comments saying, get uh, Ali, get out, of, get out of his profile or something, that's why he logs into his father's Twitter, Twitter profiles and Instagram profiles and talks nonsense and some weird shit, guys. So Ali is just not really liked too much. He also engages a lot in things that he should not engage. In my opinion, as a manager, you are in the back of the business, you handle everything backstage and you're not in the front. And Ali is always in the front, talking trash to other fighters, doing this, doing that. He's not really making himself a favor by that, even though he's kind of pushing his brand a little bit maybe, but 
Yeah, he also was in some heated debates with uh, Ariel Halwani, where Ar Ariel Halwani kind of owned him a little bit, to be honest. Like, it was kind of a 10 8 for Ariel Halwani. But also, I don't know if it's still like that, but Ali Abdelaziz officially stated that years ago that no fighter that is under his management will do interviews with Ariel Halwani anymore, which is kind of crazy because Ariel Halwani is a well established journalist. And just because Ali does not like some things he said, or, or did because he challenged fighters, he challenged them with questions. It's not just being their best friend, which a journalist should not be. A journalist should be challenging people with their questions. He doesn't like him. Uh, and a lot of other people that he has beef with. Also, Fernand Lopez, for example, the, the manager and coach of Sigil Gan, Farisiam, and all those Frenchies from uh, the MA factory in Paris. He had, as far as I know, he had a fighter under his contract, um, Fernand Lopez. And Ali wanted that fighter. I think he was a fellow Muslim or something that he wanted to get under his uh, company. And Ferran Lopez said, no, he's signed to me. We have a contract that's still, I don't know, let's say going on for two more years. That's just, uh, in, I don't know if that's true, but for, let's say two more years. Um, he's with me. And Ali said, no, he will come to me now. You will give him to me. And Ferran Lopez was like, no, why should I do that? And then Ali started to threaten him, the, everything, you can Google that, everything is online, the messages and everything. He threatened him, I think he even threatened his life and whatever. Uh, just a crazy guy, a shady guy, a guy that I would never trust too much. I think if you're his friend, you are in, pretty, in a pretty nice space. I think he takes care of you, he's probably a nice friend. But if you're not his friend, you don't want to be engaged with him. That's how I would state that. But um, write in the comments, guys. Do you like Ali Abdelaziz? Do you think he's, he's the guy? Or do you think, hey, this is the Ali Abdelaziz weasel? Fuck this guy. Write in the comments, guys. Which team are you on? Which side are you on? But it's definitely not... You can't deny that he has a strange past with a lot of things that you can't really stand up for. And um, that's why I'm not the biggest fan of him. But as I said, write your opinions in the comments, guys. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and that you are not getting hate from any MMA fans. Eat your fruits and eat your vegetables, guys. Until the next one, bye-bye. Blood sport out.